eight. This lesson I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, airspeed based on pedostatic pressures. So the first one that we're going to calculate is true airspeed. And true airspeed is going to be the square root of 2 times pt minus p infinity over rho infinity and pt is going to be the total pressure this is going to be measured at the pitot tube p infinity is the free stream pressure measured at the static port rho infinity so this is a p over here this one down here is a rho that is density of the free stream and rho zero that is the standard density and uh, the value of the standard density is point zero zero two three seven seven slugs per feet cube and it's a standard density at sea level okay very good and the next one is going to be equivalent airspeed and that's going to be square root of 2 times total pressure minus free stream pressure or static pressure divided by the standard density. So the difference between true airspeed and equivalent airspeed is equivalent airspeed is corrected for compressibility. True airspeed is corrected for non-standard um, conditions or, or uh, non-standard density. So true airspeed is going to have uh, going to be divided by um, density of the free stream and equivalent airspeed is going to be divided by standard density. If you wanted to um, calculate uh, also true airspeed, true airspeed is calibrated airspeed divided by the square root of the density ratios. Density ratio is rho over rho zero. So the uh, ratio of the density where you're flying divided by the standard sea level density. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. So example calls for um, P infinity, that is the free stream pressure, static pressure, is uh, 629.7 PSF. Total pressure is going to be 923.3 PSF. 
and the density of the free stream is going to be 0.0008968 slug per feet cube. Okay, let me make a line here. Okay, and so find um, true R speed and equivalent R speed. So first thing we'll do with true R speed is going to be square root of two times total pressure that is 923.3 PSF minus free stream pressure, static pressure, that is going to be 629.7 square root of that, and then divided by the density of the free stream, that is 0 0.00089068 and this is slug per feet cube and this was uh over here let me set for a second this is going to be psf and then i'm going to get that's 811 811 and it's that's going to be feet per second doesn't tell me a whole lot in an airplane so i'm gonna have to divide i'm gonna have to convert to knots because my airspeed indicator is going to be knots i'm going to divide it by 1.69 feet per second per knot and this is going to cancel each other out and i'm going to get 480.4 knots okay here the uh, conversion one knot is 1.69 feet per second so if i have something in feet per second i divide it by 1.69 and i get knots yeah i have, I have something in knots and I have to convert to feet per second, I have to multiply by, by 1.69. And the next one is equivalent airspeed is going to be square root of two times, so same thing that we have in the numerator, 23.3 PSF minus six. 29.7 PSF divided, but this time I'm going to divide by standard density is 0 0.00089 slug per feet cube, and that is going to give me. Um, 800 that gives us 497 feet per second divided by 1.69 feet per second per knot that is 294.09 knots Okay, real quick, if we wanted to verify that this is correct, we're going to do true air speed is equivalent air speed divided by the density ratio. So that's going to be 497 
divided by, and this is the square root, sorry, square root of 0 0.0008. 90 divided by 0 0.002377 and the square root of that in that is going to give you 811.91 feet per second so that's what we had for tour speed so it's verified and we're good